Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. I decided to say my name in the beginning of my videos from now on because I've had so many comments and also just people in general try to say my name and nobody actually knows, which I don't blame because I've never said my name or like how to actually say my name. So I figured I would just start saying it in the beginning of all my videos. So in today's video, I have a huge huge hygiene haul for you guys this video is about to be super long i have tons if you hear thunder in the background it's raining so bad outside i do have a mic right here so i'm hoping this is like diffusing some of the sound but it's like there's a little tornado happening right outside my window i'm about to show you guys so many products after a few months i like to do like a whole little reset of all my products because by that time i finished up a lot of my products so i like to get new ones and just restock on some of like my staple products so i'm going to show you guys all of that so i'm going to have a lot of hygiene videos coming up because i love hygiene i'm always on the hygiene side of youtube on the hygiene side of tiktok it's my favorite thing in the world i love to smell good i love of hygiene products so i do want to create a lot more hygiene videos and i've gotten a lot of requests from you guys as well and i've also just gotten a lot of inspiration from some really cool people here on youtube i'm probably going to talk about some of like my favorite youtubers throughout this video just because some of these products were inspired by them and then like i said some of these are like my staples that i just always rebuy so i have a ton of stuff from target today uh walmart i even have something from big lots it was my first time going into big lots so i got a couple things literally a couple things anyways let's get into this video so first we're gonna start off with target this is like one out of two bags from target so first things first i had to restock on my washcloth the best way to wash your body is with a washcloth not with a loofah i still do use loofahs but i use loofahs mainly with like my nice smelling products i don't use a loofah to actually clean myself because it's really just not doing anything loofahs also collect a ton of bacteria whereas with these you use them, you could throw them in the wash, reuse them, and they're always fresh and clean. I love me some washcloths. Currently, I'm kind of going through a bunch of like uh, washcloths that I got from Walmart. These ones I got from Target, literally, I think they were like $2, $3. They're super inexpensive and they each come with six. So I just picked up two of those. So next up, I have a huge obsession with bar soap. Like, I don't know what it is. I picked me up some Dove bar soap and this is pear and aloe. These smell so good. This is like a restock for me. I've already gone through a ton of these. I think a whole like eight pack like this is like $5, I believe. And this particular scent, the pear and aloe, smells so good. It's a really fresh, but honestly, super, super sweet scent. Dove is like my favorite bar soap, body wash of all time. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people's favorites. Lathers up so nicely. The smells are always right on like all of their body care products. It smells so so good i highly recommend these i highly recommend bar soaps in general just to actually thoroughly clean your body and then you can actually go in with like your really good smelling body washes another bar soap that i have been absolutely obsessed with lately i've already gone through like three bottles of the actual uh liquid body wash but i think this is new it says new this is the dove antibacterial bar soap and it is so good normally with a lot of antibacterial bar soaps first of all i love antibacterial bar soaps because when you use them you really really will feel clean personally i've always used the dial antibacterial bar soap because you use that stuff and your skin will like literally squeak afterwards it is a little drying but it will get you feeling super super clean and then going with like a moisturizing like actual like good smelling body wash but they recently came out with a dove antibacterial bar soap and this has that antibacterial property which is amazing for cleaning yourself obviously but it still has that like dove formula where it's like super rejuvenating and moisturizing and it's not going to leave you like super stripped ever since i tried it in the actual uh body wash and i was like obsessed with it and i was at target and i saw that they had it in the bar soap version i was like i have to get that the next product this is a product that i hear chloe yasmine here on youtube talk a lot about so this is the aussie flora aura scent boost this is basically like a hair perfume you can buy this in the same section with like the aussie shampoos and all of that so this smells super good it has like a 
fresh florally but also sweet sort of scent it kind of just basically has like a shampoo sort of smell and i know you're probably thinking like well i already like shampoo my hair so like why do i need that but if you wash your hair and you find that afterwards the scent doesn't really linger in your hair then i highly recommend this because you can actually put it right after your shower and it'll really like lock in the scent and just boost up the scent of your like shampoos that you're using and it smells really good I still haven't used it but according to chloe she like raves about that product and she says that the smell actually really lingers in your hair lasts for a good time and the smells really strong next up this is like a restock of mine i cannot live without this lotion i have insanely dry skin it's like really bad and the second i get out of the shower especially because i use like my dye like antibacterial stuff and that cleans me so well to the point where it literally strips like any moisture off of my body so i really really need to go in with the lotion i use in shower lotions as well but once i'm dry i also like to go in with the lotion and my favorite lotion of all all time is this right here this is the nivea original moisture 48 hour restoring moistures their original formula has vitamin e and it's for normal to dry skin and your girl has like very scaly literally i could be an alligator type dry skin it has vitamin e oil in it mixed with the lotion so literally when you put this on not only does it moisturize you but it gives you the most gorgeous glow it is kind of a lot for the summertime right now just because it is super super hot outside so it's not always super fun to have like a bunch of product on your skin and to feel oily and sticky when you already feel that way just like stepping outside so i don't always use this if i know that i'm gonna like have a long day outside but literally if you're going on like a night out use this before put it on your legs it'll literally make your legs shine to like outer space it gives you such a beautiful glow all over your body i recommend this if you fake tan fake tan dries your skin out you definitely need to like replenish that moisture and also to keep the tan you need your skin to be moisturized if you have really dry skin like me i highly recommend this moisturizer it's really good it smells like any normal lotion it doesn't really have like a super like amazing scent to it but this is a really good base and like starting point to begin to like layer your really good smelling products like whatever bath and body lotion or victoria's secret lotion or whatever and your mist and all of that because the way that those scents really last long is if they have like a really good like barrier to like stick to and she's your girl i went a little body wash crazy in this haul i got like a few body washes the first one i got is this guy right here this is the saint ives soothing oatmeal and shea butter now do not be put off by that like oatmeal scent i absolutely despise the scent of oatmeal i think it's disgusting i don't like the smell of like brown sugar oatmeal syrupy kind of scents i hate that and every time i see oatmeal that's what i think of but no this is pretty much it smells almost exactly like the ogx vanilla body wash i don't really smell the oatmeal at all in this it literally smells like that body wash so and i know that that body wash has been like super popular and kind of almost like hard to find because tiktok has blown it up youtube has blown it up so this is basically like a dupe of it it literally just smells like vanilla and cookies oh it's so good if you're gonna do like a sweet sort of body care routine like if you're gonna put on some vanilla lotion a vanilla perfume body mist whatever and you have this as your body wash as well i got this because i watched jasmine bullard here on youtube literally one of my favorite youtubers ever like i recently discovered her and i've literally seen every single one of her videos like multiple times if she recommends anything i am like already before she even finishes her, her sentence i'm like halfway to the store so yeah i saw her mention this in one of her videos and of course i picked it up if you love sweet vanilla sugary cookie gourmand type of scents this is going to be your girl another body wash this is another one that i bought because of jasmine this is the olay fresh outlast orchid and black current these Olay body washes. I don't know if they're new or I just haven't heard anything about them, but they go hard. I thought before that nothing could top Dove like moisturizing. Like their formula is so good. They lather up so well and they really like don't strip your body while also cleaning it and giving you really good lather. 
so does this i've picked up a couple of these which you'll see in this haul but this one in the particular orchid and black current scent if you guys have literally watched any of my perfume videos you know my one of my favorite perfume notes in the entire world is black current i literally think anything with black current smells amazing i can't get enough of this i'm sorry about that sound I feel like this is a perfect like date night body wash to like start off with like as a base for your nice sexy lotions and perfumes because this is a really sexy sweet sort of scent i cannot wait to use that last thing from target is actually like something really random it's not really hygiene related but i found these um tapes to go i have like this romper of mine that every time i wear it and i go like this it literally flashes the world and it just like doesn't stay put so i needed me some like fashion tapes to put on the inside of it it's literally thundering so hard i feel like these should be like a staple in like every girl's closet all right so that was it for target so now i'm gonna move on to walmart literally i have so many things from walmart so just prepare yourself the first thing i have is this guy right here if you are not on the hygiene side of youtube you're probably like baby products what this is the baby dove sensitive skincare hypoallergenic wash i'm actually already using this is like a restock but i'm already using it's in my shower I, i'm almost done with it so i needed a new one but i'm using it's the same one but it's the fragrance free version i think this has like a very very light fragrance to it i've never used this one but this is like the original I'm pretty sure the main person that kind of started up the trend and craze for this product was Chloe Yasmin. And thank God for her because she has changed my life. I'm obsessed with this product. If you are struggling to find a really good feminine care uh, wash for down there, highly recommend for this. It's so good. It's very gentle. It does not irritate at all, but it has you keeping fresh. I know that the whole subject of like whether you should use an actual wash or not down there is like a whole... It's a whole thing. But honestly, I'm never gonna shame somebody or tell somebody to not do something that they're doing. Like, if something works for you, it works for you. If you are pro soap down there, that's great. And if you're not and that works for you, that's also great. Personally, I love feeling super clean. And so I am pro soap personally. And this is the best. So I'm really excited to try this one and see how this one is. The one that I use is the fragrance-free version of this. But even though this is not like technically fragrance free, it is hypoallergenic. There's not much of a fragrance to it. And if you can use it for babies, you can use it for an adult. But definitely all the credit for this product goes to her because I feel like a lot of people have been raving about this, but nobody gives credit to her. And I'm pretty sure she's the first one that kind of brought this whole trend on. So the next product I picked up was this Olay Nighttime Rinse Off Body Conditioner. So I picked this up because of Michaela Wagner. Here on YouTube, also a hygiene YouTuber obsessed with her videos as well. Uh, she's just so sweet and every time I watch her videos, the vibe that she gives off is just like unmatched. Like she just seems like such a sweet soul and like I literally want to be her best friend. I saw her talk about this in a hygiene haul and this is basically like a conditioner for your body. So same way you would wash your hair and then put conditioner in it, you wash your body with like whatever body wash you have and then you put this as a conditioner. It's pretty much an in-shower lotion. And they have a few different ones. I think they have like a vitamin E one. I don't know a couple different ones this is the retinol one but this smells really good it kind of almost has like a manly sort of cologne sort of scent to it but in a really good way mm, it smells really good i cannot wait to use this so next up i picked these up these are cranberry pills they're the azo cranberry pills these have been so hyped up they're literally the number one most trusted brand and you see these all over hygiene tiktok you see a ton of youtubers talk about them and they're just really really good if you have like uti issues or in general just to keep yourself right down there um these are really good i've heard i have not used them and it basically says one serving is one glass of cranberry juice i'm not going to recommend something like this just because it is internal and i do think that this is something that you need to speak to your gyno about and see if it's right for you this is not a probiotic it's basically just like a cranberry supplement like cranberry substitute for like actual cranberry juice but they do also like the same brand has a probiotic 
Um, and I really want to pick that one up too just because that's really good for your feminine health but i'm not gonna like recommend anything just because i do feel the stuff that you put internally definitely needs to like be discussed okay next up i picked up another pair of exfoliating gloves i use exfoliating gloves so much for my daily shower routine i use a washcloth but for like twice a week or whenever i'm like shaving and i need to exfoliate i always exfoliate i highly recommend exfoliating it will change your life if you suffer from like strawberry legs ingrown hairs darkness in general exfoliating is the way to go and you can do that with like a scrub like the tree hut scrubs that are like super popular or with exfoliating gloves literally go through them so much the pair that i have in my shower right now are disgusting so i definitely needed a restock of that another one of these olay body washes i picked this up at walmart so this one has notes of watermelon and agave let me tell you this Oh my god, it smells like watermelon candy. It's kind of like an artificial, like candy-like sort of watermelon scent. It literally makes your mouth water. Like, so good. Honestly, these Ole body washes have really just been killing it lately. Then I picked up this shampoo. I don't normally use head and shoulder shampoo. I don't really suffer from dandruff at all. I used to, like I used to have, like I said, I've really dry everything and I used to have a dry scalp. So it gave me a lot of dandruff, but I don't know what happened along the way. I just stopped <laughs> having dandruff. But the reason why I picked this up is because I saw in one of Chloe's videos, she used the co-wash of this same exact product. She said it's like one of the best smelling shampoos ever. It keeps her hair smelling really, really good for a long time. And I don't really use co-wash. I don't know if, I, I honestly don't know much about co-wash. I don't know if co-wash is something that uh, people with curly hair use. I have very stick straight hair. So I just decided to pick it up in the just normal shampoo and conditioner version. This smells really good. It's not really like a crazy scent. It kind of just smells like your typical shampoo. Although the real test will be like actually in the shower using this and how it smells but straight from the tube it smells really good i picked up a new deodorant i'm literally like a deodorant <laughs> collector at this point i pick up a new deodorant like every time i go to the drugstore i don't know like i don't know what it is i have tried my fair share of aluminum free deodorants and i have like a bunch of them but i would like buy one find that it didn't really work for me buy another one didn't work buy another one now i'm just like i have too many there is some that have worked better than others but i'll find that like it'll work for me for a while and then it just stops working but this one that i picked up from walmart is the secret i haven't really tried many secret deodorants and i've been hearing really good things about the secret aluminum free deodorants so i decided to try it and it says fights odor feels clean for 48 hours and this is in the cucumber scent it smells really good it almost smells like watermelon kind of smells like cucumber melon from bath and body works to me but yeah i'm excited to try that i don't know why but i always get so excited for deodorants like relax then i got these can do flushable wipes do i need to really say much about these these are good if you're on your period these are good to use every day these are good for when you go. So I've been on this hair care, hair growing out my hair <laughs> journey lately. What I'm about to show you, if you have not seen this before, you're probably going to judge me and you're probably going to be like, like, is this one of these shows where the people like eat drywall off the wall? This is Mane and Tail horse shampoo yes this is for horses you literally buy this in the pet section but it is for humans too it actually says for human use in the back so it's for humans and horses basically this shampoo has been said so much that it grows your hair like so many people have found that their hair has grown so much after using this shampoo you can get it at walmart for like five bucks it actually smells really good like don't be thrown off by the fact that it's made for horses because it actually smells really good it smells even better than some like actual human being shampoos that i've smelled i have used that in the past and it's actually really nice it lathers up really really well and i really want to like start using it regularly to see if it'll make a difference honestly i'm desperate at this point like anything for this hair to grow because i'm at such an awkward length with it right now 
another hair care product this is the l'oreal el vive total repair five it basically is a damage erasing balm and it's a rinse out mask if you hear little sniffles my dog is here this smells really good i actually already used it last night so that's why it looks a little used but i really really like this when you use this it literally makes your hair feel like silk and if you have weak fried brittle tangled and split ends that's what this is for and i have all of those things i also like dye my hair so that doesn't help i want to like pair these two up which is what i did last night i used these two and i really like the combination another body wash this is from dove i honestly picked this up because it was one that i hadn't really picked up before i feel like i've tried like every dove body wash that there is and so every time i see a new one i always have to pick it up this one is morning blossom and that's it. It kind of smells honestly like blackberries to me. Some sort of like dark berry or something like that, but it's really nice. It's a Dove body wash, so honestly, no matter what it smells like, which it's always good, you know that the formula will get you right. So this is another product that was inspired by Jasmine Bullard. So this is the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. This will be a godsend for this hot, hot heat that's what she basically recommended this for this is literally the easiest thing ever if you hate putting on lotion after you shower or you forget a lot or anything like that or you hate the feeling of just something heavy on your skin this is supposed to be really nice i'm actually gonna spray some right now Ooh. oh my god it actually like feels like a lotion Mm, that kind of smells like chocolate it's cocoa it's cocoa butter i rub that in in like two seconds and it's already like absorbed into my skin and i don't feel gross and sticky so thank you jasmine for recommending that product and then i picked up this i actually saw her talk about this as well uh, as you can tell i've been really watching her videos i love using oils on my body not just for the moisture but i love the glow of an oil how like pretty and shiny it makes your skin look obviously it's an oil so it's a thicker formula it stays on your skin so it really gives you that barrier for your perfume to like have something to grip on this actually smells really good it has a really like light scent it was like 15 bucks but this is a huge bottle i'm currently using the uh, baby oil i love using baby oil like when i get right when i get off the shower like when my body's so wet specifically right after i have shaved because i'll put that on and my legs will feel buttery like smooth like so so smooth and i've been hearing some really bad things about baby oil lately so i wanted to try this out the next two products are actually body sprays so the first one is from bodycology i think i have like five or six bodycology sprays and i do find that they are really nice they're like three bucks super inexpensive but they smell really good and you can find some that really last and there's also a lot of them that are straight up dupes for bath and body Works scents and victoria's secret scents this one is twilight mist just by that name can you guys guess which bath and body Works body spray this smells like this smells pretty much almost identical to twilight woods from bath and body works it smells very similar to my kenneth cole whites for her which i recently hauled i will link that video up here if you want to see it but I told you in that video that that will become my wedding scent. I'm obsessed with this sort of scent. There's something really alluring and like sexy about it. I can't explain it, but it's such a good scent. So if you want a good dupe to those kind of products, check that out. And then I picked up this. So this is from Body Fantasies and this is vanilla. This actually smells like a straight up like vanilla extract, something you use to cook with. It smells super sweet and just literally straight up like vanilla. If you love vanilla, you will be obsessed with this. It's really good. And the last two products I actually got from Big Lots. I had never been to Big Lots before, but I was seeing some people do Big Lots um like hauls and to be honest i always thought big lots was like a craft store <laughs> i don't know why i never knew that they had like hygiene products in there but i just randomly went in there and i picked these two body washes up these are by caress caress is kind of known to kind of make these body washes that kind of basically have like a perfume scent to them they're super strong i feel like caress is like the axe of the female hygiene products like you know how axe is like makes these super like strong cologne like type products i feel like that's what caress is for women i actually thought that these were discontinued so i was like so excited and then i went into walmart and i saw them this is the black orchid and patchouli oil i picked up two of these because when i smelled it i 
was obsessed. It was literally one of the best scents I've ever smelled. Oh my god, this scent is the sexiest. I wish I had this in a perfume. This is date night right here, for sure. Like, go and smell this if you have a Walmart near you. This is a repackage of Sheer Twilight by them. It's like really deep and dark and mysterious and just sexy. I don't know. I love this. And with Caress, you shower and you will literally smell the scents to the next day. Like it really lingers on your body. So that is it for this ginormous hygiene haul. I'm really glad I got through this video and finally filmed it for you guys because these products have just been sitting in my room because I wanted to keep everything new so I could make this video first. And now I'm just really excited to actually start using them. I will be filming a ton of hygiene videos, as I said. So I'm really glad to have all these products. And all of those videos will be coming up. I have so many planned. And I'm really excited to bring all that content out for you guys. But with all that being said, I hope you like this video. Leave me your feedback in the comments. And please subscribe and turn your post notifications on. And I will see you guys in my next video.